Without Fricky de Priya's knowledge, a member of the board hearing his parole application was replaced. This member did not hear from de Priya or hear any other evidence. It is this, says Judge Eberhard Bertelsmann, that infringed on Fricky de Priya's rights. The collective board did not, as a collective, attend the hearing and, pro and consequently the applicant was denied the right to a fair hearing before a properly constituted board. The decision is therefore fundamentally flawed and must therefore be set aside. De Priya and Christoph Becker were back behind bars five days after being released on parole in February when a video apparently showed the pair in possession of a cell phone and drinking alcohol while in prison. Judge Bertelsmann has now ordered a new committee be established. The decision is set aside and it is ordered that the second respondent must, within 21 days from today, constitute a new correctional services and parole board consisting of members who were not previously involved in the hearing. Becker's urgent application to be released from prison was dismissed last month. In the light of the ruling, his lawyer also brought an urgent application today. But it was removed from the role because the judge is unsure whether the facts of Becker and the Prius cases are the same and because the ruling was not attached to Becker's court file as required. Cara Pretorius, Pretoria. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com